Hello everyone. Today I will show how to make this cool looking scroll animation using motion page, without using any code at all. I will use Elementor Page Builder in this tutorial, but you can use any page builder of your choice. You can show different features information using this layout. Let's get started. So to have some space for scrolling, I already have just two placeholder sections. Let's add a container and make it full width. Also set its minimum height to 100 VH. And add a background of your choice and style it accordingly. and center align everything. Now add a container and make it full width as well, and give it a background color of your choice. Then adjust the width and height of it according to your content. Give it some border radius for rounded corners. Also set its direction to row horizontal. Add an image of your choice and give it the same height as you gave it to the container. and remove extra padding from container. Apply same border radius to image as well. Now add another container for right side content. and remove the default gap from parent container. Then add the content in right container and style it as you like. I will speed this up. And justify content to space between. Also make the right container full width as well, and adjust its width according to your content. Now add another container inside right container. So we will have two headings side by side. Set its direction to row horizontal. I will rename the container for better understanding.
Give this container a unique ID, which we will target in motion page for animation. And we will change its position to absolute. Because if we will duplicate the card, they will not overlap in default position. So to stack the cards on top of each other, we need to change its position to absolute. and change the offsets to percentage to center align the card. Now duplicate the card. You will see now both cards are on top of each other. Change the content for second card. and add Z-index accordingly. So the card on top will have a higher Z-index value from the card below. And also give unique ID to each card, as we will scroll each card independently. I will quickly duplicate it two more times and will update the content as well. Now let's add the depth effect for the cards. Click on second card and go to transform option. And add some offset for X value. And also scale it down a little bit. Adjust the values accordingly. Now I will quickly repeat it for remaining cards as well. So we will have a stacked cards design layout. Let's update the page and check it on the front end. It looks great. Now 
let's open motion page to animate these cards. Also give an ID to main container as we will pin this container while scrolling. Create a new timeline and give it a name. and select the page from the drop-down. And set the trigger to scroll trigger. Flick on lock to scroll bar and also on pinned element. And paste the ID we gave to the main container and pin selector. and then set the start value to zero and end value to negative 150%. Then add the first card ID in the animation selector and click on to tap. I will also decrease its duration as we will have multiple nodes on the timeline. Change its opacity to 0 0.5. Also give translate x value to like negative 120 bw, so the card will move to left side while scrolling. Also scale it down as well. Now let's add another animation node and change the easing to none for all animation. Enter the card 2 ID in animation selector. So once the first card is halfway through, then start animating the second card. So we will move it a little bit to left side. As originally we moved it to right side and scaled it down a little bit. So first we will move it a little bit to left side and we'll also scale it back. And then we will duplicate the card 2 animation again. And we'll give it similar values as given to card 1. Now I will repeat this for the remaining two cards as well.
So this is how the timeline will look like. You can adjust the animations nodes to make it more accurate as well. Let's save the timeline and check it from the front end. It looks great. So that's it. This is how you can make advanced level scroll animation using motion page. If this video helps you in any way then please like this video. And also subscribe to my channel as I will be making more videos like this. Thanks for watching.